Ashley Metzger is with the Desert Water Agency. Thanks for joining us today. Yes, I'm happy to be here. Happy to be back home in the Coachella Valley. You got to take a, a tour. It's actually an interesting uh, concept where you toured some of our water's uh, infrastructure system. Yes, so I got to go um, with some of my colleagues, some of our board members, and some members of the community on a tour that Metropolitan Water District put on, and they call it an inspection tour okay. of the Colorado River Aqueduct. And this is how basically showing us all the infrastructure that basically gets the water from the river, perhaps, to your faucet. Yes, so it's how the water gets to us, and then we replenish it and do the kind of the second half of that work, but all the way from the Colorado River hmm here into the Coachella Valley. So and you brought pictures. I want yes, to see some of these, yes. these neat photos. Of, we had of a your really experience. good trip. So we started out at Diamond Valley Lake in Hemet. Now that's not part of the Colorado River Aqueduct system, although it was originally filled um, in part by Colorado River water, um, but they don't put it in there anymore. But that's part of the state water project. So that was kind of an important way to start the tour because we were talking to people about how we don't really have Colorado River rights, Desert mm -hmm. Water Agency, but we get that water. And why is that? It's because we trade. So we give Metropolitan, the state's largest water agency, our water from the State Water Project, and then they give us this Colorado River water. Because we're not hooked up to the State Water Project, exactly. which is bringing water down from Northern California. Yes. No pipeline comes into our region. No, it would cost about $1.6 billion to build that pipeline. So we trade the water. They take water that's allotted to us. We give them yes. water allotted to them. And we get to go on this tour to make sure all those facilities are in tip-top shape. One of them was actually Hoover Dam. Okay, cool. So that was really neat. We got to go on a hard hat tour um, all the way down to the bottom there to look at the power plants at Hoover Dam and the dam itself. The reservoir, uh, Lake Mead on the other side, is at near historic low levels. Mm. And so we talked about the implications that could have in the future for us. So that was really important. There's a pumping station that you stopped at? Yes, Wissett Pumping Station. And that lifts water about 291 feet. And that's the first of five pumping stations on mm. the Colorado River Aqueduct. It actually lifts the water up so that it can yes. flow back down. Water is down. heavy, yeah. so it takes a lot of power to do that. And then um, the last day we went to this dam here, which is on the Copper Basin Reservoir near Parker, Arizona. So that was really neat to see. You could get right on top of it and look down, but I don't advise that for anyone afraid of heights because yeah. I am not, and it even made my stomach turn it's a little straight bit. Straight down there, straight too. Straight down. Then you got to see some of the users of the water as well, some farms yes. that you visited. We did. We went to a farm in Blythe, and they actually had lunch for us there, which was really nice, and we saw them growing alfalfa. And, um, you know, then we made our way back home and, and used water once we got home. So it really gave you a very good appreciation of how much work it takes yeah. to get the water to our community. So that's just, it reinforced conservation and why it's so important. Thank you for sharing those photos with us and letting us know about that story. Yes, fun visit. So thank you. Thanks, Ashley. More news, uh, top stories, in fact, coming up at the bottom of the hour. You're watching the Desert's News Leader.